So today we're at the movie theater. We're going to see the new Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice movie, right, Jacqueline? Yeah. And, and there's a lot of people here, so it's a very highly anticipated movie that a lot of people want to see. I myself included. Um, it's a great, it's a great movie that I watched a lot of times when I was a kid, and very numerous times as an adult. So let's see how this is. Going down the famous hallway, I filmed out many times, many times. I filled down this hallway. Gonna go see the new Beetlejuice movie. Something called The Wild Robots. Is there another Transformers movie? There's like a million Transformers movies. And the best one of the greatest movies of all time, next to Home Alone and Back to the Future, Fear Speed. So the movie just ended. And I'll let you guys know what we thought about it. Swept to the next scene. So after the movie, I I think it was actually pretty. It was really good. Um, they played a lot of homage to the original uh, Beetlejuice movie, which I figured they were going to. A lot of the same animation style. Um, some characters gonna return didn't gonna return because well the two the the, the couple the. Uh, they, when we watched videos on it, they were talking about how they, they had steered away from that. They, that kind, that story was already done. They're done with that story. Mm, there was there were pretty much no room from them. No. In the movie, and I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad they didn't like make pretty this much remake the whole yeah. movie. I'm. Um, they. Um, well, the other character was the dad, which they, I mean, the whole movie's, I mean, it's not really a shocker that the dad wasn't in the movie, but he was, but he wasn't. <laughs> so, did they find another voice actor to do it? I, I could have been him, you don't know, because they had to use a picture of him. They didn't, well, they yes, used they a did. picture, but they pretty much did all the animation. Like, he died, animation. He, he died, he died in the movie. Okay, not, That's the whole some movie. People, some people don't know that. You gotta spoil it. Um... It's it, it goes dark like many Tim Burton movies. Um, it's Tim Burton style. Yeah, I said as Tim Burton as Tim Burton's movies. Um, the the one okay, there are some scenes that went on way too long. Like a few new musical numbers. It's like sometimes like the joke went too long. I mean, I think that Michael Keaton did great as Beetlejuice. Um, there was there no complaints for me, for me with him, but some of the scenes like just kind of went on too long. They're they're like there was one dance number in the movie that actually went on way too long. And it was kind of unnecessary. But that oh my god, is that what I think it is? What's that? That's Jess. Oh. Um. My other uh, point, they build up this villain in the movie, which is, uh, the villain in the movie is his ex-wife. Beetlejuice's ex-wife. This <laughs> villain... But it also explains why he wanted to marry her in the first movie. Yeah. But, they build her up in the entire movie when she's gone for a lot, part, a lot of parts of the movie. And yeah. then in the finale, there was no there was no point. There was, they, they kind of... Kind of let it fall. Yeah, there's, there was like you build up this character, and then all of a sudden, there's not really much. Yeah. Else. So that was my biggest complaint about the movie. There were some surprises in the movie that honestly didn't see coming. But overall, besides the whole villain aspect, the ending pretty much. I mean, <laughs> the ending was kind of weird. <laughs> but it's Beetlejuice. Yeah, but... It kind of did go hand-in-hand hand with the last movie, though. In this movie, I think they did parts in this movie better than the first movie, but then I uh, overall, I think they do think, like, the first movie uh, better. But, I mean, it's so worth watch on a scale one to ten. What would you say? I liked it. It was, like, about a nine. She said about a nine. I say about seven. Seven out of ten. It was it was better. Than, it was a lot better than I expected. I, I'll probably be buying it on Blu-ray. Just, like, the villain aspect just... The villain of the the the, the bride. They, the, they typed her up a lot for not really showing her. And he especially in the final scene. Yeah. So. And there was also a couple other twi there was other villains in the movie, but I'm not gonna say what those are. Um, but yeah. But actually, but ultimately, it, he's always the villain. Yeah. I wanna say William the 
UFO did a really good job playing the uh, head cop or without the afterlife or whatever. But who, who, who was who? Was uh, he the first one? No, I don't think he was. So I thought I recognized him. Maybe he's he like was a Spider Man. Man. Maybe that. Oh, I don't watch that. Did you, you know? watch the Tobey Maguire Spider Man? Oh, that one. Yeah. Oh, is that the one that Grandma swears she saw in New York? Maybe. <laughs> But yeah, I think his performance is actually probably one of the best performances in the movie besides Michael Keaton as uh, Beetlejuice. But of course we got Lydia uh, and we all Jenna Ortega. She did a great job. They both did a pretty good job. So is she young? Like a teenager? What? Uh, Ortega? Yeah. She looks always young. Well, she plays a lot of teenagers. She's gotta be like in her 20s by now. <laughs> I know Tom Holland is almost in his 30s, so playing high school years. But I any, guess if you look that young, there's your age range. But anyway, guys, uh, go out and see Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, I think you'll like it. I, it's, it's, I, I to be fair, it was a crowded theater when we went. But it's but opening weekend. It was opening weekend. There wasn't a lot of reactions as like if I go to other like big movies, I like I don't know if the, this our crowd specifically wasn't into the movie, but maybe some of the jokes didn't land, but I mean oh and also Catherine O'Hare playing the mom, she was actually pretty funny in, in this movie. She was funny in the first one too. Oh fun fact, she was also the mom in Home Alone. So yeah, she was pretty funny in the movie. Um was I gonna go with that? Um I love the role she played, like I feel like in, maybe in the original they didn't quite put her in it as much. Mm -hmm. For this one, they pretty much made her more of a starring role. Yeah. Um. Yeah. The well, the same with the crowd. Like the crowd, you didn't really hear a lot of people like, reacting. No. It was kind of dead for being a packed theater. I just don't. I don't. It was the crowd we were with. A lot of them. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. I think some of them are wannabe fans. Yeah. I think that was aimed more to the older people who grew up with that movie. Right. Not the people that were our age who mm -hmm. mom and dad showed it to them and now that's their obsessed character. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I watched that when I was a little kid. <laughs> I watched as a little kid. But that was the movies that we'd go over to grandma's and watch. Or mom and dad would have on. Um, yeah, so... Anyway, guys, um, anything else you want to say about them? No. And, uh, oh, get back to the whole reaction thing. And normally the people, the older generation, don't react like the young generation do when it comes to movies. Right. I, I can be honest, some of the people probably in that theater didn't even understand half those jokes. Probably not. <laughs> That's well, they, they, did, they did a lot of throwbacks to the first one. Yeah. But unlike Dumb and Dumber 2, they actually did it a lot better. F them in number two. Why are you going below the speed limit? But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. It's getting way too long. I uh, hope you enjoyed our review. Go see Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. I, I don't think you'll be disappointed. Anyway, guys, this has been Kelsey. That's Jacqueline, and we'll see you next time.